What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the ZHP Garage. Hope everyone's having a great day. We're back here dealing with the 68 Chevy C10 and we're just gonna continue on from what we said we were gonna do in the last video. So we got the filler here in place in the bed. So we're gonna showcase that first. But then after that we have the airbag suspension that we wanna show that we don't have installed yet because it's gonna be kind of a big job. But it's on parts in the boxes so we're gonna show it to you. And then we put brand new shocks in that we want to show you also and it's a big improvement from what was in here before so let's get right into it hello there mr peabody hello there so what are we looking at here well we got the, the filler installed turned out pretty nice I like it flush mount it sticks up a hair more than the rails but it's got this little tool that locks it down so uh, it's got a million threads on the toe but now i can fill the gas tank full throttle no more throwing up Get a black hole keeps taking fuel so was it a pain in the butt for you to get this in here? It was a little hard, a little tricky to line everything up, but it's good, nice and centered. So after I did the filler, um, we changed the shocks and the brackets. This is a configuration that was on it when we got it. It was a stock mounts. So I'll show you in a second from underneath how it looks, but the stock uppers just riveted on, factory rivets, and this is where it bolts to the rear end on the lower, on the U-bolt. So the problem is when you lower it is you run out of travel because you know you have less suspension travel so the shock is shorter and you really have a, a lot of reason why you have a bad ride because you don't have any shock travel so we got these brackets this goes on the bottom and you can see that it brings it brings the shock lower so it goes this way and it brings the shock it brings it down closer to the ground so it gains about two inches on the lower bracket then you also change the upper bracket not only it moves it back to straighten the shock angle out but it brings it further up into the truck into the bed so you gain another inch or two at the other end so you get about two or three more inches of overall travel so you can run you get more travel in the shock and it gets a better ride and then we change the shocks to these right fox shocks and they're just single adjust so now we can tune a you know, a higher quality shock for one, and then we can adjust it a little bit on the ride. We'll get underneath this thing and I'll show you the difference because I got one side done with the new brackets and shock and I have one old setup still on there. And you can see the difference in the angle, the shock angle, and then the, and on the travel and how much of the piston is sticking out once it's on the truck. So let's get underneath there and I'll show you the difference underneath it. So you can see on this original configuration, how the lower mount the shock is is above the trailing arm and then the top i put that bolt in there because i already talked took the factory rivets out it's normally riveted on but you can see where it's more forward it's more forward and it's and it's really low so there's not very much travel on the on the shock this rear end's hanging down a little bit right now because it's on jack stands so it even has a little less than that when the all the weight's on the suspension but then if you come over to the, to the new side here, see how it's, it's even or actually a little bit below the trailing arm now? So we gained a good inch and a half or so just on the, on the lower. And if you come up to the upper, you can see that it, it bolts on the new brackets, but it moves it all the way back to straighten out the angle and it brings it up closer to the bed. So it gets more travel. You see how much more travel is in the, in the new shock? So that's, what, that's where we installed the, the brackets, upper and lower brackets and the new shock. Okay, now that we have the new Ritec shocks put inside the truck, we are going to take it for a test drive to a gas station. So since it is single adjust shocks, we're able to adjust the firmness of the ride to softer or stiffer. So we're going to see how it is when we drive to the gas station. And then just based off how we like it, then we'll adjust it accordingly. So as you can see on the piece of paper that came with the Ritec suspension, it says it is single adjustable. So right here, ride quality is too soft. Increase the dampening effect by rotating the rebound knob clockwise three clicks. So that was the little knob that you saw in the shock right there. And then it says if it's too stiff, then twist it counterclockwise two clicks. So let's get this thing on the road. Let's try out these new shocks. We'll get a little feedback on what we think of them. All right, we made it here to the gas station. We're gonna check out this filler how it fills compared to the old one, which I wish I had a video of the old one because this is gonna be a huge improvement. So how is it compared to the old one? Oh, amazing, wide open, 
full flow. No throwing up, no nothing. And yes, we are in fact at the same gas station that we did the 64 Impala engine swap, where we did the tuning for. So if you have not seen that video, click on it. It's right here. Go and check it out. It was a good video. This is what's next. We're waiting on a couple more parts, but this is what we got so far. We're going to replace the stock, uh, well, not the stock, the lower, the coilovers that are in here now, the lowering ones. We're going to install airbags in its place so we're able to tow with it without, you know, squatting down, popping a wheelie. So we can, we'll get rid of this squeak. We can set the ride height. We're going to lower the back of the truck a little bit more, but we're waiting on level sensor and stuff. So it's going to maintain its own ride level, but. The only thing we have right now is just the airbag, so we're waiting on the rest of it. So once everything else comes in, then we'll be putting the, the rear airbags, we're going to put a compressor in it, an air tank, and a level sensor on both sides. So it's going to maintain its own, own ride height, you know, the, the ride height that we set it at. So we got back with the old and busted, took it for a little test drive to the gas station, rides, rides really nice. The shocks made a big difference in the back, then having extra travel. This is it's good. We, we did a little minor adjustment on the shock, firmed it up a little bit, but it definitely a lot better than what was on here. These cheapy little low lower cheap shocks, but the, the new ones are definitely better. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already to the channel and you enjoy the content. Here are some other videos that we, uh, we got here on our channel. Go and check them out as well. Hit the like button. Hit every button. <laughs> come back. See you later. Have a good one.